we have just cruised around to the north side of the island where uh, of St. Thomas going into Megan's Bay. So this is a pretty popular place for people when they fly in and are touring the island. Getting here by boat's a different story. You gotta kind of time it too, because if the swell or wind are blowing into this bay, it could be really, really uncomfortable. So we uh, have some easterlies right now, but they're gonna be switching to westerlies. So we're gonna have a few days in here before it changes. And we're gonna get to experience some of uh, Megan's Bay. It's beautiful looking. We're still in the rollers coming in, as you can see. It was a really, really rough uh, cruise along the, I guess, the east side of the island coming around here. It's rugged, rugged. But um, we're looking forward to checking this out. It's going to be awesome. Nestled on St. Thomas's northern coast in the U.S. Virgin Islands, Megan's Bay is a serene haven known for its pristine beauty. Its powdery white sand beaches gently curve around lush green hills, creating a postcard perfect scene of paradise. The bay's calm, crystal clear turquoise water, usually sheltered by its northwest exposure, invites endless exploration, despite the occasional winter storms coming from the North Atlantic. By day, Megan's Bay bustles with light, attracting locals, cruise ship visitors, sailors, and boaters. It's a vibrant spot for soaking in the island's energy and enjoying prime people watching. As the sun sets and the crowds disperse, the bay becomes a peaceful retreat, offering nighttime tranquility and our own private paradise. This is probably the coolest looking yacht I've ever seen. Look at this sucker. It's about 60 feet and it's about 20 feet wide and it just looks so badass and sinister. What a cool boat. Wow. Amazing. We feel super fortunate. We're standing right now in the middle of the beach of Megan's Bay. Which it, is supposedly rated one of the top 10 beaches in the world. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it's it so goes pretty. on forever. The sand is fantastic and the water is so blue. And it's neat, during the day it fills right up. And then about five o'clock in the afternoon, it's dead. completely <laughs> clears out. It's just the yachties in here. It's pretty neat. So we're anchored over on this side here where it's kind of uh, where the, the fun um, bar shack and all that kind of stuff is and where most people hang out. But we just took the dinghy over to this side on the other end of the bay and it is super dead over there. Lots of amazing sand. So I think that's where we're going to go for a float this afternoon and just enjoy the day. So crazy walking this beach during the day like this and last night about five o'clock it's not a soul on it. Completely dead. It's so yeah. crazy. And then at about six o'clock in the morning they start putting all the chairs up for everybody that's going to come today so that they can rent chairs and enjoy the sunshine. And yeah. 
it's insane. It is. And it's not cheap to come here either. You have to pay to get in the in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Cars as they come in, make you pay by the car load. And then you're paying for beers and chairs and the whole thing. So it's, a, it's an investment coming here. It's not for us. <laughs> We're walking it for free. <laughs> yeah. Hi, honey. Chilling out there. We were just making our way around the island and we just came across this beautiful bay. It's called Santa Maria and it shows it as an anchor spot, but there's not much information. So my guess is not many people anchor here, but I don't know why, because it is absolutely gorgeous. Check this out. Perfect little pristine beach. We're gonna go snorkeling right over there in just a minute. Maybe spend the afternoon and then get back on the road again. But this is what it's all about, finding amazing places like this and just saying, hey, let's drop the hook and enjoy the afternoon here. I'm so excited to see this place. Look at this spot, hey? This is fantastic. It's crazy. What a lucky find. Oh, yeah. What a beautiful little bay. Wow. Stay right there. <laughs> don't, go. don't go anywhere. tunnels and caves and oh and our stupid underwater GoPro died but epic the most incredible underwater scene that I've ever seen and coral and fans and tons and tons of reef fish not a lot of big fish you you know medium-sized stuff you saw a big octopus I saw an octopus inside one of the caverns if we had dive equipment oh. we could be here for days oh my gosh this was a magical stop i am so glad we did it was it. so crazy it makes me think of this is what a lot of the places that we snorkel on the regular was like before it got inundated with people all the time like i don't think there's a lot of people that stop here yeah. and so it's just a live growing untouched reef it's beautiful absolutely amazing yeah. All right, time to get back to Hanu and get this trainer rolling. Yep, there we go.
This past month in the U.S. Virgin Islands has been nothing short of extraordinary. We've spent our days hiking through lush, tranquil mountains, discovering hidden trails that have led us to sweeping views and century-old historic landmarks. The underwater world has been equally mesmerizing, with vibrant coral reefs and schools of tropical fish making every snorkeling adventure unforgettable. Along the way, we've shared moments with old friends and have had the joy of meeting new ones who instantly felt like family. Our afternoons have been filled with warm, sun-kissed beaches, and in the evenings, we found ourselves captivated by the peaceful glow of sunsets that seem to stretch forever. There's something so calming about the rhythm of life here. We've loved every bit of our time on these islands. And while we wish we could stay and soak in the beauty just a little longer, it's time for us to set sails towards new horizons. Hola, friends! <laughs> what are we doing? Today is a pretty big, exciting day for us. We are heading from USVI's back to St. Martin. And then down to Grenada. But we're doing it very, very early because we have some pretty exciting news. We're crossing the Atlantic. <laughs> Yay! <Yeah. Woo! laughs> so we have friends who are doing the ARC um, and they have asked if we would help them crew the boat across and we so graciously said yes. Yeah. And they were so gracious to ask us. So we feel it's a great opportunity to really uh, not only see a bunch more of the planet, but just to uh, cross the Atlantic. We get to cross the Atlantic and <laughs> we get to say that we it. did that. So in a month's time, we will have Pawnee Park, then fly from Grenada back to St. Martin and be on our way across the Atlantic. Yes. <laughs> and, that, and it's quick. We have a long ways to go from USV ice today all the way down to, to Grenada, Grenada to in park four the boat. Weeks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna enjoy it still, but we got to get our butts in gear. So we do. And the the trip that we're doing with them is gonna be pretty epic too. So we sail from St. Martin to Bermuda, and then Bermuda to the Azores, which we are so excited we get to see the Azores, and then the Azores to Lagos, Portugal. So it's um, a ton of miles, mm -hmm. a lot of time at sea on a very beautiful boat, and we're excited that we get to be a part of it. Yeah. So let the adventure begin now. We are heading south. <laughs> Let's go. And we've got a really crazy weather window. So we're just motored out of the anchorage and uh, getting everything set up. We're gonna pop out into the ocean, but it never happens, but the wind is actually flipped. So our easterly trades are no more. They're going the other direction. So it's crazy that today we have this crazy weather window to head back south, so. And it's like an exodus. There are so many boats <laughs> leaving with us today. I'm gonna actually. It depends on how I'm gonna check marine them. traffic through the day, and th it's an overnight sail, so we'll check it through the night. It'll be funny to see. Yeah. But this is a great opportunity for us to head that way. Lots of fish balls ahead. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway. Pay attention. More Bye. to come. <laughs> Next week as we head south in search of a new adventure.